Thank you for being here. To present the award to our first awardee this evening, it is a pleasure to introduce Professor William S. Hall. Dr. Hall? Oh, good. As Dr. Hall makes his way down, I will tell you that he served as the co-director of the Laboratory of Comparative and Functional Neuroanatomy and as the director of the Don De Departmental Honors Program and chair of the Department of Psychology at the University of Maryland College Park. Dr. Hall retired this past July. But what you may ask qualifies him to be here tonight to introduce our famous chef. Is it the years, the deep psychoanalysis, all of psychology? No, it turns out not. Dr. Hall is well acquainted, uh, well acquainted with Robert Widmeyer's brilliance, creativity, and energy as he chooses to dine in his restaurant almost every evening. Please welcome Dr. Hall. Robert Weedmeyer, school was not pleasurable for you. You struggled to learn to read and write. Your parents knew you had learning problems and kept looking for areas of success for you. They encouraged you to cook. You attended a culinary school in the Netherlands and you apprenticed at a Michelin two-star restaurant uh, in Holland which brought you to Brussels to work with a famed chef. In 1986, in America, you joined the staff of the Morrison House in Old Town, Alexandria, Virginia. In 1988, you joined the renowned Le Pavillon, which featured the finest nouvelle French cuisine in the city of Washington. One year later, you were at the Four Seasons Hotel as sous chef working under the tutelage of Chef Douglas McNeil. For over seven years, you worked in this prestigious restaurant and did catered events. The Watergate Hotel asked you to oversee their culinary operations and to redesign their kitchen and to open their new restaurant, Aquarell. There you replaced your mentor, executive chef, Jean-Louis Paladin. In March of 1999, you opened Marcel's restaurant, named it after your firstborn son, who came into the world a few months earlier. Your Marcel's restaurant has won many awards, such as the Fine Dining Restaurant of the Year, Highest Ranked Restaurant in the City. In April 2007, you opened another restaurant called Brasserie Beck, named after your younger son. Brasserie Beck stays true to your cuisine. French with a Flemish flair. Some of your favorite things to cook are sweetbreads, foie gras, skate, and any variation of wild game. At both Marcel's and at Beck's, you say, I concentrate on high quality ingredients. More than anything, I'm a cook first and a chef second. Robert Weedmeyer, the Lab School of Washington salutes you for rising above a school menu that you found difficult to taste. <laughs> Instead, you have created incredibly delicious menus to satisfy and excite diverse palates par excellence. Indeed, your passion for food turned into an art that has made it, its mark worldwide. holding is actually Patricia's, okay? <laughs> That's okay, we're all LD. <laughs> we'll get that all worked out. <laughs> of course, that, that would only happen here. <laughs> you know? Problem solving. I just want to make a few um, comments here. First of all, um, today visiting the lab school, uh, the way that we were shown it was very, very inspiring. 
Uh, through the years, I've supported the lab school and Sally Smith by doing dinners there for her, and she's always been a great customer of mine at Marcel's. But today was extremely special because I met three other um, people that are very talented, um, Ari, Patricia, and John here on my sides. And uh, when we were talking to the kids there, um, you could see a connection that we were going through all of us of a process of, of how we got to where we are and how, and how lucky we were in a lot of ways. And I kind of summed it up in a, in a very short synopsis of a lot of it was very, very hard work I heard from all three of them and myself. Perseverance and having parents that love you and give you confidence that you can get beyond uh, limitations that, you know, there are different ways of learning. And uh, it, it came, it excluded from all of us. And the kids there, I think, were very um, excited about hearing about success stories. So kudos to Sally Smith, the, the staff at the lab school, for putting this together. Um, To my father and my mother, God bless you, Mom, I love you. She passed away two and a half years ago. She was a great inspiration to me. She uh, knew early on that there was something wrong with me, but she wasn't sure. Um, but uh, she took me when I was 17 years old and took me to see a, a psychiatrist, and the psychiatrist came out and said, I've got good news and bad news. And my mom's like, well, what's that? She go, he goes, he's got the mathematical abilities of a third grader, but he could be the president of the United States. <laughs> so, <laughs> so all I did was when I looked at my mom and I felt even stupider at that point. Um, but I just knew because of their guidance I, I did what I loved to do, and I stuck with it, and I worked hard at it. And I think that's a, a, you know, a crucial point for all young people and for parents is, you know, you, we have these children, we look at them, we love them, we want them to have the same things that we have. Uh, sometimes kids just learn differently, and it's when you're able to, uh, to see that and run with it and take it to another stratosphere and let them feel confident. One of the other reasons why I think I'm here today is because my dad and my mother made sure I did martial arts, and that built a lot of confidence in me, I believe. So I think that can be a, a great winning combination. Love, perseverance, and learn how to kick some butt. <laughs> you know? Anyway, thank you. It was a lot of fun.